quadratic equations. The polynomial of degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial. An equation corresponding to a quadratic polynomial P of x is called a quadratic equation in variable x. Examples of quadratic equations. First, x square plus 3x minus 5. Second, 3x square minus 5x. Third, 5x square. Standard form of quadratic equation. The equation involving one variable and having two as the maximum index of the variable is called the quadratic equation. General form is ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. P of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. Where a is not equal to zero, a, b, c belongs to R that is real, which is known as the standard form of quadratic equation. Roots of a quadratic equation. Consider the equation x square plus 5 x minus 6. Here a equals to 1, b equals to 5, c equals to 6. When we put x equals to minus 6 in the above equation, we get answer as 0. Therefore, minus 6 is called as a root of an equation x square plus 5 x minus 6. Hence, when x equals to minus 6, we get x square plus 5 x minus 6 equals to 0. Before going to the exercises, do solve the solved examples. Doing so will help you easily solve question 1 and 2 of the exercise. Now, let's go straight to practice set 2.1. Question 3. Write the following equations in the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. We have the equation as x minus 1 the whole square is equal to 2x plus 3. Applying the formula a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square, we get x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 3. On further solving, we get the final equation as x square minus 4x minus 2 equals to 0. This is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Our next equation is x square plus 5x is equal to minus of 3 minus x. x square plus 5x is equal to minus 3 plus x. Therefore, on further solving, we get the equation as x square plus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. This is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. Our next equation is p of 3 plus 6p equals to minus 5. Multiplying p inside the bracket, we get 3p plus 6p square is equal to minus 5 and on further solving we get the final equation as 6p square plus 3p plus 5 equals to 0. Question 4. Determine whether the values given against each of the quadratic equations are roots of the quadratic equation. We have the equation as 2m square minus 5m equals to 0 where m is equal to 2 and 5 by 2. First, put m equals to 2 in the equation. We get the answer is minus 2. The answer is non-zero. Therefore, m equals to 2 is not the root of the quadratic equation. Put m equals to 5 by 2 in the above equation. After solving, we get the answer as 0. Therefore, m equals to 5 by 2 is a root of the quadratic equation since the answer is 0. Question number 5. Find k. If x equal to 3 is a root of quadratic equation kx square minus 10x plus 3 equals to 0. Put x equal to 3 in the entire equation, we get the answer of k as 3. Therefore, when x equal to 3, the value of k is equal to 3. Methods for solving the quadratic equation. There are three methods for solving quadratic equation. Factorization, complete the square method, quadratic formula. Solutions of quadratic equations by factorization. This method is also known as splitting the middle term. Example, x square minus 4, x minus 5. Consider the above equation. The middle term is minus 4. Now, select two numbers such that if you add or subtract, we should get minus 4 and the product should give minus 5. Follow the following steps. First, Convert the equation in ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 format. Find the factors of a into c such that if you add or subtract, you will get b. In the above equation, minus 5 and plus 1 are the factors of 5 since a equals to 1 because 
minus 5 into plus 1 is equal to minus 5. Also, minus 5 plus 1 is equal to minus 4. Replace minus 4 with minus 5 and plus 1. We get x square plus minus 5x plus x minus 5 equals to 0. Divide the equation in two parts and take common. x square plus minus 5x plus x minus 5 equals to 0. x of x minus 5 plus 1 into x minus 5 equals to 0. Here, x minus 5 should be same on both sides. Therefore, x plus 1 into x minus 5 equals to 0. Take these equations separately x plus 1 equals to 0, we get x is equals to minus 1 and when x minus 5 equals to 0, we get x equals to 5. Therefore, x equals to minus 1, x equals to 5 are the roots of the quadratic equation. Tips Practice makes human perfect. Need a lot of practice for this kind of sums. Remember that sign can make the entire sum wrong. So, while selecting the factors, consider the sign seriously. Look at the solved example first. If there is no common in step 4, consider step 1. If you have any doubt, do leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see practice set 2.2 in next video. Thank you for watching the Academic Squad.